Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a color coordinates combination of colors where I'm going to be blending some of my colors together on some cardstock. I've chosen five colors along with some black cardstock that I'll be using. So the colors are deep purple and then I have green leaf. For my light blue I am using steel blue and also some green apple and I'll use those together. And then finally for a turquoise I'm going to be using my mallow blue. For my blending, I'm using the Tim Holtz blending tools, and I have three of these. And one is for the blues, one is for the greens, and then I have one for purple. I don't worry about doing one pad for each color. They're close enough, and I can clean that off a little bit by dabbing those onto my paper. The dies that I'm going to be using are all Kathy Zelsky's dies. Love her stuff. So I'm going to be using the Dude, and this is a two-part die. So I'll cut one from my blended paper and then one uh, in black for the backing paper. I'm also using the Everett numbers and I want to tell you, you need to have a really good fundamental set of numbers. I like to use these on my birthday cards to specify the age and I'm going to be using the 29 and creating a background by using my colored blended paper and also some black and white. The white cardstock I'm using for this project is the Simon Says Stamp 120 pound. I'm also using a message set to add a birthday greeting and this is the Everyday Messages also by Simon Says Stamp. It has really nice small messages you can create little strips with and put to your cards. Okay, so I'm going to start off and do my blending and I'm starting off with steel blue. And I am dabbing this onto my Simon Says Stamp grid paper and then I'm rubbing it onto that cardstock. Uh, as you move along, now I want to tell you that deep purple is a really dark color, so you're going to want to dab that off and give it a little test. Uh, once I got going, I realized, well, it doesn't really matter if these are blended really perfectly because I'm going to be cutting out little tiny numbers from these. And so I'm just giving this a really good mix of color. One thing to note is when you put green next to the purple or overlapping on the purple, you get almost a raisin color. I kind of like that color, so I kept it. And here I'm just filling in with some Mala Blue because this will mix with all the colors that I have. And now I have a nice sheet that I can use for my die cutting. Okay, so I've done all my die cutting and I've cut the dude from my colored cardstock and I'm backing that with black cardstock. And that it gives it a really nice framed look to that. You could also do an offset like how I set that down on the paper. I didn't mean to do that, but that looks um, pretty good if you offset that. It's almost like a drop shadow. I'm using my Simon Says Stamp tacky glue to glue this down. You can either add dots or it has such a fine tip that you can actually draw along the back of your word. And once you have that all glued, you can set it right onto that backing. I really like to use the tacky glue because I have a chance to move this around and line it up. It's not so permanent right away that I can line it up however I want. And once I'm done doing that, I'll just set that aside and let that dry. It's time to add my numbers and I'm using my T-square to help me guide through this. And I've figured out that it's going to take five rows of my numbers and I'm going to be just splitting them up to where I have white ones sitting next to the colored ones and also some black to do some fill in. You could draw lines on your cardstock if you wanted to help you guide to put your numbers down, but I am just going to slide this T-square right on down my card and continue to add my numbers onto the backing. I'm finishing this off. In the last row, I'll be needing to cut this off, but I'm adding my last nine with the black cardstock. This really gives a unique look to it. When you add the same color on top, it almost looks like you've embossed the numbers in and it gives it a finished look. So once I've given my numbers a chance to dry, I'm just using my scissors and I'll clip off all the little overhanging ones. And then I can mount this panel to my card. To mount the dude onto my card, I've cut up little strips of my foam and I've just added it about four places on the back. And I'll move this around a little bit just to be sure I like the placement before I press that down. To finish this card off, I have stamped Happy Birthday onto a strip of black cardstock and I white embossed that and I put it right under the dude. I really like how the numbers look. I think it's a fun birthday card. This is for my son Scooter. He is 29. So I hope I've given you some inspiration on a card idea and also inspiration on using our color coordinates from Simon Says Stamp. 
Be sure to check the description box below for all the supplies and I also have a printable PDF for you to use to create a swatch book from our color coordinates. And as always, thanks so much for watching.